last hurrah, and then the spring. Breaking, North Korea makes threat against the United States, and it's big. It's big. It's huge. North Korea has threatened the U.S. with merciless strikes just in time for the U.S. Navy's carrier, U.S. Carl Vinson, to arrive in South Korean waters. <laughs> just in time. Just in time for nuclear war. From Zero Hedge. One day after South Korea press reported that U.S. Special Forces, including a Delta Force team and an infamous SEAL Team 6, are participating in local drills, practicing the removal of Kim Jong-un as well as the infiltration and destruction of North Korea's weapons of mass destruction. North Korea threatened the United States with merciless attacks if any aircraft carrier strike group led by the USS Carl Vinson, which is currently taking part in the joint South Korean drills, infringes on its sovereignty or dignity, Reuters reported on Tuesday. <laughs> Are they fucking insane? Man, I bet it would take about five minutes to talk to North Korea's leader to realize he's completely insane. What kind of asshole does shit like this? North Korea said the arrival of the U.S. strike group was part of a reckless scheme to attack it. If they infringe on the DPRK's sovereignty and dignity even a bit, its army will launch merciless ultra-precision strikes from ground, air, sea, and underwater. The North State News Agency, KCNA, adding that on March 11th alone, many enemy carrier-based aircraft flew along a course near territorial air and waters of the DPRK to stage drills of dropping bombs and making surprise attacks on the group targets of its army. Meanwhile, a U.S. Navy spokesperson told Reuters that Carl Vinson was on a regular scheduled deployment to the region during which it took part in the excessive exercises with the force of Ally South Korea. Last week, North Korea fired four ballistic missiles into the Sea of Japan in response to annual U.S. South Korea military drills, which the North sees as preparation for war. North Korea's warning comes that the Secretary of State Rex Tillerson is due to make his first visit to South Korea on Friday. Last week, the U.S. Ambassador to the United Nations said President Donald Trump's administration was re-evaluating its North Korea strategy and all options are on the table. As reported last night, and adding regional tension, China has been vehemently opposed to the deployment in South Korea of an advanced U.S. anti-missile system, according to the SCMP. A retired PLA general, Wang Hongwang, said that China said that China is set to deploy anti-radar radar countermeasures, which will neutralize the South Korean THAAD. Things are really heating up over there. It's funny, I never anticipated things heating up in North Korea while the Middle East is about to explode. We'll see what happens. Wow, Julian Assange has words for Trump and Pence, and it's bad. Julian Assange has stated that Clinton, referring to Hillary, said privately this month that she is quietly pushing for a Pence takeover. She said Pence is predictable and hence defeatable. Assange also stated that two intelligence officials close to Pence have stated privately that they are planning on a Pence takeover, but did not state if Pence agrees. Clinton stated privately this month that she is quietly pushing for a Pence takeover. She stated that Pence <coughs> is predictable, hence defeatable. Well, they better rethink their strategy. Hillary's been wrong about everything else. However, for our sake, I hope they keep the exact same strategy. Julian Assange sure is fascinating, though. Having him the, in the equation between any country's borders and a open society, having him in the middle is a fascinating twist. Breaking. Snow has begun falling in the northeast. Read what to expect. From weather.com, winter storm Stella is intensifying into a high-impact snowstorm for the northeast Tuesday. Stella has already brought some snow to the midwest and dusted parts of the south. Here are five things to know about the storm right now. When will the heaviest snow hit the northeast? 
The heaviest snow will progress from south to north across the northeast region through Tuesday. Snowfall rates of 1 to 4 inches per hour as possible at times during the height of the snow near and west of the Interstate 95 corridor, including Boston and New York City. Those high snowfall rates could also occur near or just northeast of both Philadelphia and Washington, D.C. for a time. Blizzard conditions, tree damage, and power outage possible. Strong winds gusting to 40 to 60 miles per hour could cause near blizzard or blizzard conditions to occur close to our coast from northern New Jersey to New York City, metro, and parts of southern New England. Blizzard warnings include parts of nine states in the northeast, including portions of the eastern Pennsylvania, northern central New Jersey, New York, Connecticut, northern Rhode Island, Massachusetts, western Vermont, southeast New Hampshire, and southern Maine. Inland areas from the coast will also see low visibility and dangerous travel conditions during the storm. So this is winter's last hurrah. I think almost the exact same day we had something similar. I remember it was like March 15th I was driving somewhere and I ran into this giant ice storm. It lasted for a day and a half. Same time just last year. So...